Tanya Eby. I'm back, uh, and I don't have kids here, and I don't have anyone to film me, so this is real life, people. Um, I'm, I'm back, and I'm making something that's kind of fun. It's called whitefish dip. Whitefish dip. I'm a big fan of the dips. And this, uh, this recipe was mentioned in a book I just finished narrating called um, The Summer Cottage. I'm obsessed with summer cottages. I always wanted one, and I'm don't have enough money to afford one. But in this book, it's written by Viola Shipman, or Viola Shipman. And um, a woman um, renovates her family's cottage and turns it into a B&B. &B, and then she has this part where she's mentioning some food she's serving. And one is a whitefish dip with um, local artisanal bread and jams and all of that. And I thought, oh my God, it's the heart of winter. It's so cold. I'm so depressed. I need artisanal bread and dip. So I'm actually going to go to the market today, which I also need to do because there's cupcakes and pad thai. So I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, I'm back. Like I for real, for real I left. Um, on cooking shows when they say, I'll be right back and whatever. Um, they don't go anywhere. They're just sitting in the back drinking coffee and looking at Instagram. Um, and they have a crew that that gets the stuff. I don't have a crew. I have me. I'm a really crabby crew. So um, I'm going to show you the ingredients and then I'm going to make it. Okay, here are the fancy ingredients for whitefish dip. Get some smoked whitefish. Whitefish is a, a fish in Michigan and I thought it was just like any fish that was white, but apparently like it's a kind of fish. Who knew? Then I got this Franken loaf, which is all the leftover bread smushed into its own loaf. It's artisanal because I don't even know what that means. It means that bakers who know what they're doing made it, I guess. Um, celery, dill, cream cheese, lemon. It, what's that? A cupcake. <laughs> that, that has nothing to do. That has nothing to do with uh, the dip. I just really wanted a cupcake. So um, I'm supposed first thing I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to flake this. So I have um, these gloves because I think anytime that you're gonna do a deep dive into a protein, you should protect yourself. All right, so I'm actually kind of glad I didn't film what I experienced with the fish because it was basically me like pulling it off the bone but then gently massaging it between my fingers and I kind of got into that I don't know. I think I've been narrating a lot of erotica lately, so <laughs> I don't know. So I have everything ready to go. And one thing I love about dips is you basically just put everything in and then you stir it. Whatever. So I'm going to show it to you. Close your eyes. You might get dizzy. Hold on. Woo. You see it? Um, I think it looks pretty good. It smells good. I have to tell you this, um, this dill. Oh, it smells like summer pickles and I love it so much makes me a little weepy because right now it's cold as it's cold outside anyway I'm gonna stir this so <laughs> I had to take my sweater off because that was really hard work um, stirring it over and over and over and then of course I reread the recipe and it said to use a mixer Okay, so here's a big reveal. You ready? Um, honestly, I'm kind of afraid of this. This does not remind me of summers on the beach in Lake Michigan. Um, but I'm going to try it. You ready? Um, whoo, that's some fish. Um, so, <laughs> no, no, uh-uh, nope. My conclusion after $30 on this recipe 
is that if you're gonna make white fish dip or you wanna serve the artisanal bread and you wanna have grapes and crackers and cheese and the white fish dip, just buy it. Just go to the store and buy it. Why are you gonna make, I have like four cups of this stuff and I don't have, I don't have any friends coming over. Amy, Kate, Shelly, <laughs> I got no, I got no one. Now I have three, three or four cups of fish dip to eat. And um, I don't, I didn't do a good job. This is terrible. So um, yeah, at least I have bread. Um, I have bread and I have cupcake. So let this be a lesson to us all.